I'm Brett from GFB and this is uh, an installation of the DB Plus on a 1.4 VW twin charged engine. So we're going to start by taking the engine cover off. There's two little grommets just down here. So carefully lift that up then you slide it backwards, clear it, and then just remove this vacuum hose. So here's the factory diverter valve. Uh, it helps if you take this rubber boot out of the way so you can get at it. You need to remove the electrical connector, unbolt the valve, and we're also going to need to loosen this pipe so we can slide it back to get the whole DV Plus assembly in there. Now there's a little locking tab on the connector that you have to release. Slide that back. And tuck that out of the way. Okay, next thing, we'll undo this bolt here and move the uh, the intake pipe out of the way. So you need a uh, T30 Torx driver. And we'll also need to loosen these two screws here so we can pull the whole pipe just out of the way, so just so we can get the clearance through here because it's going to sit quite close when we're finished. There's also one down here on the mounting bracket that we removed. Okay, so there's a little clamp here that we remove. Now the O-rings that seal the ends of these pipes can be quite tight, so it's, uh, it's easiest to start with this end here and get that off. Then you can wiggle the pipe and you can just sit there for the time being. That gives us access to the lower bolt, that's the tough one to get. Okay, so the lower bolt is still in a tricky place, which is why it helps to have a, a ball pointed hex key. Uh, so we start by cracking them. Let's see if we can spin it out easily. Okay, and there is the factory diverter valve. So now we're going to separate the valve mechanism from the solenoid. We keep the solenoid, we put the GFB. DV plus on the end of here and it all goes back in. Okay so with the factory valve we're going to use the o-rings that come supplied here so the easiest way to get that off is to just roll it out of the groove. Make sure you don't damage these o-rings and put them aside because we'll be transferring these onto the DV plus body. These can some, the, the valve mechanism can sometimes be a little tricky to pop out so the easiest way is just use a screwdriver and just lever that out. Okay, so we're going to put that aside, we take that spring out, we don't need that anymore, we don't need any of this other than the yellow o-ring, so we're going to keep that. Okay, so this can be a bit tricky to pry out, just got to roll it out of the groove put that aside so we need no more of those parts from the factory valve. Now these o-rings are the same size so it doesn't matter if you get them mixed up. So we get one onto the front of the DV Plus body. One of them is going to sit in there. So then we get the factory solenoid. Now the important part to remember you want to use the GFB supplied spring that comes with the kit, not the factory one that was originally in there. So slip the plunger in on top, and you're going to have to hold that. Now the other important thing, these holes are not symmetrical. You can see by the webbing and the moulding that one hole is further out than the other one. So when you clip it together, make sure you get the right orientation. The easy way, you'll see as soon as you get it right, the sides and the holes will line up properly. And then before we install it, it's just a matter of slipping in the piston spring and the piston. And it doesn't hurt to smear a little bit of engine oil around there before you start. 
and that is the completed DV Plus assembly. cover back on and we're done. Okay, last thing. Don't forget to line up the rubber grommets and slide it in that way. 